Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Melanie back with Melanie Loves Death Metal. Small collection update today. No vinyl. I know that's weird. Um, I do have a couple coming next week, so uh, I'll definitely show those off as soon as I get them. But I do have a couple of tapes that I've been waiting a while for, so I'm excited that I finally got those this week. And then a CD box set. <laughs> I'm buying CDs again, so here we go with this shit. Um, <laughs> but nonetheless, decided to pick up this box set because it was super cheap and and I didn't really feel like spending the money on the vinyl so we'll get to that point anyway first up from life after death the new leprophiliac and concilio cadaverico I think is how you pronounce their name I am so sorry if I butchered that um very very good split there you go right there uh just just released um so I know that the tracks are currently on Bandcamp, um, but I think this tape actually might be sold out. So really cool pink shelled case. And there's the other side. Uh, Leprophiliac has one song and then Concilio has two songs on here. Both sides, really good split. So Leprophiliac, as everybody knows, I absolutely love them. This song is absolutely massive. I'm not too familiar with the other band on, on here. It looks like based off of the little research that I did. Um, they've only released splits so far um, and they're a band from Mexico. So yeah, really good split. Um, I've been excited for this. Uh, I'm a huge Leprophiliac fan as everybody knows. It's a really cool nice J card layout there uh, and I like the color schemes and all that stuff on this. So been excited for this um, and also if you were not familiar there is a new Leprophiliac and Rotting Grave split that was just announced yesterday on Goat Throne Records. So hop over there and, and go ahead and pre-order that if you have not seen that yet. So yeah, I was really excited that I finally got this. Next up is another tape that I've been waiting on, uh, another pre-order from Barbaric Brutality. Uh, this is Ruin with their volume two of their Plague Transmissions. So I unfortunately was not able to get volume one. It was completely sold out, but I did pick up volume two. Uh, Ruin is just, it's Ruin. <laughs> Ruin pumps out so much music and content. Like I, I just can't even keep up at this point, but I was happy to finally get my first ever uh, Ruin tape. And I know this really nice red pro printed tape. Um, so I actually just got this, so I have not able, been able to listen to it yet. I purposely did not try to listen to it digitally or anything like that. I wanted to enjoy it as soon as I got the tape. So yeah, like I said, out on Barbaric Brutality, um, and I'm pretty sure these are sold out. But yeah, if you're not familiar with Ruin, please uh, get up to speed. Like I said, they just pump out so much music. Also, they are members of the band Brenth, which is currently on Ride at Life. Uh, I talked about them a while back in an in a update. Uh, another band that I love too. So good stuff. was really excited to get this. And then finally, last of the tapes, is something that I showed yesterday in a video, um, which I was happy that I got it because that worked out perfectly. Uh, this is one of my favorite EPs that has been released so far this year. And this is the new Tribal Gaze Godless Voyage on Desert Wastelands. So this is the actual second press. The first press has been out for a little while now. Um, I missed out on that whole thing when it came out because I kind of slept on this. Uh, so I picked up the second press. It's the silver tape. Um, and admittedly, I think I like the silver more. So I'm kind of glad that I got this one instead. Um, the gold is floating around out there. I think a couple of distros still have a couple copies. Um, so if you're looking for this, I, I think, I don't think the silver tape is sold out either. So definitely head over to Bandcamp and, and take a look in Desert Wastelands. Um, but yeah, this is really good really good EP. Like I said, I love it. It's just really good death metal. Their guitar tone is so good on here. Um, so really good stuff. Um, again, check out Tribal Gaze. Like, uh, just I feel like they kind of came out of nowhere. Um, and, and I just, yeah, it's definitely worth listen. And, and if you're able to find a copy, definitely pick this up. But they also pressed it on vinyl, which at the time, I don't think the vinyl pre were out when I got this, but Nonetheless, I'm still happy that I got it on the tape. It's a really nice tape. So Desert Wastelands is just releasing some heat. Uh, and also today on Desert Wastelands, uh, Hellslave from Everlasting Spew and Desert Wastelands released their album today. Um, those tapes I believe are still up for pre-order. So check that out as well. Another great album that dropped this year. So really, really good stuff. 
Um, and then finally, I have a CD box set and a little bit of a backstory on this. So I recently dug out of my storage uh, a box of CDs that I've had forever. Um, I held on to them thinking that I probably would never buy or listen to CDs ever again. And then I'm not really sure like what really swayed my mind other than the fact that I accidentally ordered CDs like I talked about last video a while ago, a couple videos ago. And then some people have been sending me CDs for free. So I kind of was like, well, I should probably get a CD player again. So I did that this week. I got a CD player, found a really cheap one for like 20 bucks. It was not anything crazy. Um, hooked it up, pulled out my old CDs and went on, you know, Amazon and other places and started hunting for some CDs that I either don't have anymore because for whatever reason I may have gotten rid of them or sold them at some point or who knows what happened to them or I still had and were in really bad shape. So this is the, I still had, but we're in really bad shape. Um, ironically, and I guess not if you know me too well enough, I don't own any of these on vinyl. So that's why I was okay with, with buying this box set. Um, and I don't know if I ever will own these things on vinyl um, just because, well, let me show it first. Uh, so this is a Sepultura <laughs> box set. The, Roadrunner albums from 1985 to 1996, admittedly the only albums that I will ever listen to with Sepultura, which I think a lot of people have that sentiment, a lot. I mean, not everybody, obviously, there's a lot of people that still love them and, and whatever, they love everything they put out and whatever else. But for me, personally, um, I've never been like a massive Sepultura fan. I can honestly say I like about three of their albums and will pop on from time to time. So for me, that was kind of the the breaking point there of like, I'm not gonna invest a lot on vinyl right now, but maybe someday. But for now, I'm happy that I managed to pick these up on CD. So this is still available on Amazon. It was a really good price. Um, it's really nice, really nice little box. Um, it folds open like this. And then all the CDs are in here on these little, you know, cardboard, trying to put them in order because I messed them all up before. Uh, these little cardboard sleeves. So first up, you guys know, More Revisions is the first one. And then the iconic image on the back. Uh, and then I don't think the CDs are anything really cool to show. I mean, yeah. So honestly, I, I don't remember the last time I listened to this, so I'm probably gonna put this on today. It's been probably since I was a kid. Uh, next up is probably one of my more favorite ones and, and and one that actually I admittedly completely forgot existed until I recently watched Explosive Action's Thrash video. Uh, and this is Schizophrenia. Um, so yeah, this, this album is, is awesome. Like I just, like I said, was reminded of how much I used to love this album as a kid. Um, and it's just a plain CD. So was really excited that I still that I had this again so I can listen to it. The, the one that I own, I don't know what the hell I did. I did not treat my <laughs> CDs very well as a kid, apparently. Um, so, and then next up is quite possibly, probably like everybody's favorite, it seems like. I don't know. Uh, Beneath the Remains, I'm sure you knew that was coming next. So, uh, yeah, like I said, these are it's a nice little box set, you know, nice little slip cases that these come on. Um, Nothing, nothing super fancy, nothing crazy. And like I said, I'm fine with it for now. If I ever decide to get the vinyl, um, then I'll obviously go all out there. So next up is, is my favorite Sepultura album. And this is admittedly the one that I probably listen to the most and will put on if I ever am in the mood. And that's Arise, obviously. I don't think I need to talk about this, but there you go. Um, I know there's a big debate on this or Beneath the Remains or, or whatever else. Um, but yeah, this immediately is mine. And like I said, probably the one that I listen to the most uh, if I'm ever in a supplementary mood. Next up, Chaos AD, another classic, another one of my favorites. Um, on, a, on a day, if I'm feeling kind of like, oh, maybe Chaos AD is my favorite one. It, but I always end up going back to Arise. As a kid, this definitely was one of my favorites. This is the first supplementary album I ever heard. Uh, so for a while there, this was my absolute favorite album, but I definitely go back to Arise a lot more now that as an adult. And then finally, Roots, which is probably the one that I listen to the least. Um, this is pretty much where I started to kind of just not really, 
I don't know, care too much for where they were going or what was going on with Sepultura at the time. Um, so yeah, I, I actually don't remember the last time I listened to this. I couldn't even tell you. I, obviously, I've heard songs here and there. I have I have Sirius XM in my car, so every once in a while they'll play they'll play a couple songs off of here, like Roots, Bloody Roots, and stuff like that. But for the most part, this is probably my least favorite album out of this box set, uh, and, and who knows how much I'll spin it. But yeah, so nice little nice little box set. Um, just an easy way for me to get all of their albums that I actually you know enjoy. And the price was really good. Uh, CD prices are insane. I didn't think that they would still remain to be cheaper than tapes sometimes, but they definitely are, especially when you're buying them used and stuff. So, and then there are the ones that I was looking for that are insanely expensive. So much like vinyl and tapes, you know, the marketplace is all over the place depending on what you're looking for. So cool cool little box set um like i said i got this on amazon uh so and it's still available there i'm um, not sure about in the international amazon spaces but if you're looking for an easy collection update um and you don't really want to go and spend you know like 30 30 40 bucks per vinyl which is pretty much what's going a going rate for arise and a couple of these other ones and i think beneath the remains is just incredibly expensive like this is probably the more economical way to go and like i said they're not like my all-time favorite band obviously i like Sepultura. obviously they're classic and iconic but it's one of those bands that um if i had to choose between this and like obituary it would it would be obituary and obituary is the the vinyl worthy band for me um so yeah i mean it's all it's all people's tastes and opinions so you might disagree with me but obituary is a band that i'm trying to get more vinyl of which is also a bit of a pain too so uh, that is all that I have um, tomorrow. What I'm listening to will be up uh, Monday. I have a massive black metal Monday. Wow. I got so much stuff in this week uh, and excited to show off a couple of those things. Um, and once again, thank you so much for the support. But if there's one thing that you could possibly do before ending this video is head over to my Instagram. Um, I figured out YouTube yesterday and how to automatically put that in every single video. So if you're looking for my Instagram, hopefully the link will be there now. Um, and check out a new review that I just did on the new four-way split that's going to be coming out in May with Gut Void, Blood Spore, Soul Devourment, and Coagulate. Uh, so yeah, I was lucky enough to get uh, an early preview of that. It is so good. And I'm not just saying that because they let me listen to it early. Like These are four amazing modern death metal bands that are all coming off of their EPs that they just released recently. Uh, it's really good. So please go over there and check that out. Um, I wrote a pretty lengthy Instagram post yesterday about how excited I am. And as soon as that comes out, it'll be out on like Blood Harvest and, and all those on LP, CD, everything you can imagine. So as soon as that comes out, I will absolutely drop more details in here. And uh, so yeah, thanks again, guys, and have a great weekend.